Hi, my name is Boris and in this tutorial I'm about to show you how we can create unique clap combinations by using the drum rack in live. Let's listen to our track first and then we'll take a look at the claps. Before we get into the details, if you like what we are doing on this channel, consider subscribing for more Ableton Live tips like this one, and make sure to check the description for the brand new sample pack we've just released, which is called The Premium Volume 6. In fact, all of the samples here come from that pack. It consists of over a thousand drum hits and loops, and we've created it with some amazing artists, so make sure to check it out. Okay, so let's get started. Let's take a look at the claps. Okay, so we have two layers here. We have four claps on this this layer and four claps on this one. And the second layer. Okay, so you will find a lot of these samples in our pack. We can find it in our everything bundle if we go to one shots and claps. There's a lot of claps available here. And as you can see, not all of these sounds are actually one shots. Some of these are loops and we've just selected parts of it and treated them as one shots. For example, this is also part of a loop, some percussion element. Now this one, this is part of something called a weird loop. And we have a bunch of other sounds. And then here there are a little bit more standard sounds. So we have a clap. Another one, this one is also sort of a percussion sound, which is used here in this part. Hi, this video is sponsored by us. If you like these tutorials and want to support the channel, check out our website packed with online courses and professional sound packs. If you want to cut years of your learning curve, check the PML Beginner to Advanced Music Production Program for Ableton Live. You will know Ableton inside out and learn how to write, produce, mix and master complete tracks. You learn step by step at your own speed, from an empty file to professional production, as if we're sitting side by side in the studio. Thank you for listening, and now let's get back to your tutorial. Okay, so what's the technique behind it? Basically, we are creating different layers and we're processing all of these sounds in a similar way. This one, we could treat this one as a more organic layer. We have these natural recorded sounds here. And in order to make the sounds really unique, we've layered four of these and they are not exactly all on the grid. One of them, this one, is placed a little bit before to add a little bit of interest. And we are processing these four organic sounds in the same way with an EQ. So before and after. So it now doesn't sound as overwhelming. Now the second clap. These are a bit more typical drum machine-ish sounds that would be typically used in techno. And we are doing a bit more processing here. So we are using the drum bus with the drive before and after. And then we are also EQing all of these at once with the EQ8 and adding a bit of delay at the end in parts. And this way we've created almost like two sounds that are separate and we can easily mix and match between them by just using the volume sliders here. So in fact, instead of having eight layers, we have just two, but they have sub layers that are inside the drum rack. This is a really nice technique if you don't always want to have the same clap combinations. For example, here we are adding a bit of percussion in the clap clip. You can disable and enable different MIDI notes in different parts, or you can even use randomization to add even more randomness into your production. And make sure to mess around with different placements on the grid. It doesn't all have to be exactly on the grid. For example, here we are using this sound which is placed a bit before the other sounds and the attack is turned up here so that it acts a little bit like a reversed sample. So that would be all the processing that is applied here 
we only have some reverb that is applied on a return track here, some room reverb basically, and make sure to just experiment on your own, load up different good drum hits, create your own layers and make your track super interesting this way. Okay, thank you guys very much for watching this tutorial. Consider checking out our Music Production Academy. We've got a lot of start to finish courses on there for both beginners and more advanced producers. Subscribe and hit the notification bell. Like and comment if you like this video and I will see you in the next ones. Thank you.